I'm still out here trying to process this whole, like, situation, you know, what I did. That was genuinely just a spur of the moment random decision and we are now with the Oilers. Before we do anything, I'm gonna sim up to the regular season because who cares about preseason? Not this guy. The conversation with the fan every single time you change teams, there's no way I'm playing here for five years. Sorry, buddy. The question is, do I update the look first or do I look at the lines first? And the answer is obviously update the equipment. Yeah, beauty. That looks awesome. Man, my Utah equipment could have been so much cooler. This is crazy. There are some unreal pillows going on here. I was just gonna use like the team blocker and glove and stuff, but nope, I'm gonna do custom. To be honest with you, I'm unsure as to whether I like this or not, but I'm gonna keep it. Now it is finally time to see what this team is made of. Let's view the lines. Please still have McDavid. Please still have Dreisaitl. Oh baby, we are in business. What a nasty squad. That first line's gonna put up like what? 210 points each? Skinner, Nuge, and Arvidsson as the second line is pretty solid. We've got Savoie down here that could end up being promoted to the second line. Defensively, we have Darnie and Bouchard. Bouchard up to 92 overall. Actually, he was getting a lot of points if I remember correctly. Jared Spurgeon and Nabs, Alexiak, Dumba. Holy smokes, this team is absolutely gross. It's looking like we're gonna be the backup and that's fine. What is that picture of me? Why you gotta do me dirty like that? We are not in against the Colorado Avalanche season opener and home opener, and we have another conversation with the fan. It was the exact same conversation. Big time deja vu. Overtime loss in the first game of the year. Now we have the St. Louis Blues. Let's see if we can have a good start here as an oiler. Will the sim engine treat us nicely or are we gonna get destroyed? First period, it is 1-1. That's fine. Second period, 3-1 oil. Let's go. Now I know this looks good, but hold your horses because a two goal lead is very blowable for me. We have the second line out there to start the third period. That is a bold decision. Maybe the coach is doing some sort of line matching. I don't know. I'm new here, so I'm still trying to figure everything out. Robert Thomas shot is blocked. Where is this thing? There you go. Oh wait, no Leon's out. Oh, never mind. Switched right to the first line. I'm also curious to see if this team is going to be any better at scoring in the third period because Utah struggled with that quite a bit. There's two main reasons I chose to be an Oiler. Well, there's actually three, but two of them are kind of the same. Utah was not that great. We weren't doing too hot. And with the Oilers, we should be right into the playoffs, which is awesome. The second reason was that they were offering a one-year contract. Hard to say no to that because if things don't work out, after this season, I could hit them with the deuces. See ya. Nice shot. Oh, I thought it was going to drop in. Thought we were going to have a little pop fly goal. But no, wasn't meant to be. This is going to be severely premature. Never mind, I'm not going to say it. Actually, you know what? I will say it. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I feel like this team does look better than Utah. Based on the lines in the roster, I don't think that should really be a surprise. But... Yeah, it had to be said anyway. Pareko goes to Letty. He's going to miss the net. All right, we are kind of... There's no way that should have got through. We're kind of getting dummied here. I can't lie to you. Smother it. No, I'm sending it out. There's no one over there. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. This is terrifying. Next time, if there is a next... I'm not doing it. I am not. No siree. Holy smokes. Okay. Yeah, that is an unbelievable goal. Remember when I said it was a blowable lead? Well, here we are. This team, though, in three-on-three -three overtime has to be gross, right? That was a clapper. Didn't manage to glove it, but I did manage to save it. Wow. Was not even expecting a shot to get put on there. I didn't think there was a St. Louis player in that area. But boy, was I wrong. The double. He just doubled down. What an absolute mad lad. Put him on the second line right now. Let's score. Let's just score and get this thing over with in regulation. Nice keep at the line. What was, what was that exactly? That was an incredible save. Another. He came flying in out of absolutely. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no.
Maybe I should stop passing it out so much. I just don't want to get whistles. They take forever. If I could skip past all the cinematic crap, then it wouldn't be a big deal. We have to sit here for a good, like, 15 to 20 seconds just watching nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So the bad news is we blew the lead. The good news is we are going into overtime with a four on three. McDavid, Dreisaitl, Nuge, and Boosh. We're scoring. Like, it's basically just... Told you what I say. We win in our debut with the Edmonton Oilers. Sorry, the S Skinner on the back of his jersey really threw me off there. And I was trying to think, and then I remember they got Jeff Skinner. So that checks out. Let's see how this went in. Connor gets the puck down low. Just a little behind the back toss. And I guess their defender kind of put it in. It looked like Leon would have had the poke anyway. But he didn't need it. St. Louis also had 30 shots. So that is a 900 save percentage. Can't lie to you on that goal. McDavid should have had that guy. He got away from him. We got green for all the coach feedback. What a start this is. All right, maybe we're not the backup. We are in here against the Golden Knights. They are 1-0. Hopefully we have another good sim. I think we should. This team should simulate very well. Obviously, we're going to have a few games here and there that don't go our way. 2-2. Two -two. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, perfect. If I have a performance like last game, this isn't going to go well. But again, I do trust these guys to score some goals. The shots are deadlocked at 20. The score is two apiece. This could not be any closer right now. It's anybody's contest. We just have this third period to decide it. Or overtime. Or a shootout. But I prefer regulation. Big save. And the players were there to get the puck back out. Love to see it. Ooh. He got another chance. I thought that block shot was going to be the end of that. I don't know who that defenseman is. But you just got blown up. And then he's had like a breakaway basically. So you know what? Not my fault. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that this is on you. Darnell Nurse is that? I probably could have saved that. But you know, I wasn't really expecting our defenseman to get deleted in front of the net like that. So, sorry. I guess you got to expect the unexpected. Steered aside. That one. Nuge is there for it. Goes across the ice to Matthew, who ends up losing it. And now Holtz comes back. This guy is a little bit scary. I cannot fib to you. That was also scary. Gets by the defenseman. I truthfully have no idea how I managed to save that. Of course. Of course. And then their goaltender is a brick wall. Can't score on him whatsoever. Absolute craziness. This game is so fun, I love it a lot. He hammered that. Okay, we need to play better. Back to the point it goes. So, these point shots that are getting tipped. I don't know if there's a whole lot I can do about that. Because deflections in real life, they're going in. You expect the puck to be going one way. All of a sudden, it's not going that way. Nice snipe by Darnell Nurse. You just immediately made up for earlier. This game's not over. We still have six minutes to get another one here. Let's do it. What do you got for me, Stone? What have you got for me? Not much. He ended up getting it over to Holtz, who has been everywhere, it feels like, in this third period. Guy is... Don't tip it. Stop with that. That was going to be like a double tip. Nuge win that back. Oh, he does. Let it go again! That could have been beautiful. We still have a chance. We almost got a tip off that time. But no. It was either blocked by their defense. I don't know. I was too busy carrying on. Not actually paying attention to what is going on on my screen. Get out of here with that. A minute and a half left. McDavid, Dreisaitl are out there. This is it. It's all or nothing. And this team actually takes me off. So we are headed to the bench. Quick, 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 quick. Not my fault anymore. Not my fault. And it was a hat trick. No. How do I keep forgetting about this? I've been saying so many times that I want to start using this. And then I just don't. So I'm going to 
force myself the next few games and try to get it like ingrained into my brain. Where is this thing? There it is, back at the point. Nyquist. Didn't get through. One more shot, perhaps. Yeah, there it is. Game done. Boo! Just a brutal performance from the goaltender right there. Not ideal, but it's okay. We can bounce back. We're only three games into the season. Let's see how Stewie does against the Kings. Nice. So I think they were going to run with us, and then we had that game, and the coach was like, nah, Stewie, you are still the starter. 4-1-1 one one right now. Can we beat the Avs again? No, that time they got us. The San Jose Sharks. We are on the road again here. Hopefully we can have a bounce back on the road game because we've only played one at home. That one went well. Let's see how this game in California goes. It's one nothing. You know what? I believe in the lads and I can't just go into situations that we're winning all the time. Let's do this. There's also no shot that the San Jose Sharks are about to shut out the Edmonton Oilers. I'm also curious if Macklin Celebrini left because I saw Smith, I saw Toffoli, and whoever their other line mate was, but wasn't him. You're kidding. That tip hit both posts and then came out. Thank you, I was gonna say. There's no way we don't score on this attack. I gotta see this again. So Darnell Nurse has it at the point. He shoots it. Nutmegs that guy. Nearly neuters him. It gets tipped off of both posts and out. What a joke. Save on Will Smith. And it was Eklund. That's who it was. I was trying to think of their other line mate. Alright, we gotta figure something out here. San Jose, not too happy about us tying it up. Thank you, Evan. Appreciate it. Or wait, no, that was Darnell. He's number 25. Bouchard is number two. Okay. Thank you, Darnell. Appreciate it. What a shot. Jeffrey. You're a mad lad. He gets the pass from... I, I, I don't know. Again, my brain's not working this morning. I apologize. But he just manages to get some separation from the defenseman and post and in. We're taking revenge for the post post out. Picture perfect shot. We're up by one. Oh, there's Macklin. He's playing with Zetterland. Okay, we got to get up here. Horrible recovery time. Also, not great positioning, but... If you boys want to score another one and give us some insurance, I'm not opposed. Thank you again to the defender. Didn't really see who it was that time, but... Just for being there, blocking that pass, you saved a goal. I'm also not joking when I tell you I already forgot about this again until right now. No way the post gets its revenge now. This is insane. Do it. Great pass by McDavid. Our player was wide open there, but the shot didn't go. That's just a good shot, you know? I feel like my positioning was fine there. There wasn't really anybody on defense that didn't have their guy. That was just a good goal. Fair enough, Will I Am Smith. Now we're tied with five and a half to go. Nice try by Himes. I like it. Keep that in. He didn't keep it in, but he made that guy pay for getting the puck out. I'll tell you that for free. That was unnecessarily close. Down to the final minute. Game is still deadlocked here. Shots are fairly even. We do have seven more. Yeah, so I can move fast while, if I can like get pretty good at this, moving fast while standing up, also using the prediction system all at the same time, I think we could actually be unreal. Oh no, not like this. Not like this with such little time left. Couture goes cross eyes. Great back check by the Nuge. Overtime coming your way. They won the draw. Shot from the point, nearly deflected off some things. But now McDavid and Dreisaitl are gone. They're gone! What a spectacular save. They're not done yet. They're not done yet! Connor's not doing that in real life. That's not happening. Go! Unfortunate. Unfortunate, but it was a great attack. And now here come the Sharks. Here come the Sharks. 
Hey, yo! The shot speed is just crazy. Yeah, beat me on the glove. I don't think my positioning was bad there again. I don't think that was a defender's fault or anything. I think it was just another good goal. All right, well, we're just doing samples today. You know, we're trying one of each. We got a win, a loss, and an overtime loss. We also have two trait points, so I might be able to get something good with that. Recovery? Yep. We are first in the division right now. 12 points, five wins. We do have the most games played, but we're more than two points up, even on the teams that have only one game played less, so we're pacing well. You've got to be kidding me right now. Look at this. Utah Hockey Club, third in the NHL. That is unbelievable. Leon leading the charge with 11 points, 5 goals. McDavid has 10 points, 6 goals. Nuge right there with 9. Same with Victor Arvidsson. Let's go, Victor. Bouchard's doing well for a defenseman. 7 points. Love to see that. Stuart Little currently has a record of 4-1-1, one, one, a 9-13, 260. We already saw our stats. Why... Do we have that picture? It's driving me crazy. Connor Ingram just being a stud for Utah, but I gotta be nosy. What's going on here? Forwards, Clayton Keller's finally putting up some offense. Aginla, 87 overall. Dylan Genther, why? The year that I leave. Even their defense are putting up points now. Obviously, it's very early in the season. These are the goaltender stats. There's a few things catching my eye. A 933 for Igor, a 938 for Jesper, a 970 for Jake Ottinger, who is 5-0-0 and has two shutouts. That's gross. Kale's popping off, 12 points in eight games played. Taves and Quinn Hughes are both point a game. Oliver Bonk, 21 years of age, 81 overall, and he's almost point a game. Good on ya. As if. This guy's leading the league right now. 13 points, Clayton Keller, four goals. Get out of here. We're off to a pretty good start. We could have had that game against San Jose. We did go into the third, down by one. We ended up taking the lead. They tied it up, won in overtime. Say la vie. Other than Utah all of a sudden being the best team in the league, not actually, but they're pretty close. I'm liking it so far here in Edmonton. 